The rank plaques of the Imperial officers seen from the Andor series have mostly followed the chart of Imperial ranks created by David Crossman for 2016's A Star Wars Story Rogue One. This video explains how the chart relates to the characters shown in Andor and also how the coloured tiles signify their level of authority and responsibility. So far in Andor the chart has been accurately represented for certain characters and their position of rank, and some have not been included at all. However, this has been somewhat down to the covered storylines of both Star Wars productions. The Andor series has shown Imperial Security Bureau officers wearing white and grey uniforms, accompanied with blue tiled security branch plaques. These blue tile plaques have revealed five levels of rank, but only four have been included on Crossman's chart. The highest rank plaque seen to date for the character Wolf Yularen holds a single row plaque of three red and three blue tiles, indicating the rank of Colonel although on the chart a colonel could also have a single row of six blue tiles. The second highest rank seen is for the character Partigas, who holds a single row plaque of five blue tiles, indicating the security rank of Major. The next highest rank seen is the character Legret, who holds a single row plaque of four blue tiles, indicating the security rank of Captain. All other officers featured in the ISB meetings, including mentioned characters such as Miro, Blevin, Grande and Young, hold a single rank plaque of three blue tiles indicating the security rank of Supervisor Lieutenant. The rank plaque of the officers wearing the grey uniforms are not included on the chart. However, the single row plaque of two blue tiles indicates the security rank of Attendant. The most notable character from the Andor series is Attendant Hurt. Moving on to the Imperial military, there have been three commissioned officer rank plaques seen in Andor to date, but only two of the rank plaques are included on Crossman's chart. The first character included is Gorn. He holds the rank plaque of two red and one blue tile, indicating the army rank of lieutenant. It was also the same rank plaque Andor used to disguise himself when entering the Imperial Citadel on Scarif in Rogue One. Lieutenant Adamer, who was an officer stationed at Scarif, is another officer featured with the same rank. The senior military officer character at the Eldani garrison was Commandant Bahaze. He holds the single row plaque of four blue and two red tiles. However, this rank plaque is not indicated on Crossman's chart, but lends itself closest to the equivalent plaque of Colonel, which has three red and three blue tiles. The third character officer, but appears in a black uniform generally associated with the Stormtrooper officer uniform, is the character Captain Vanistigo. He holds a single row plaque of three blue tiles, indicating the rank of Lieutenant, according to Crossman's chart, as it indicates a captain with four blue tiles. However, in the series he appears with three blue tiles, However, there was a discrepancy with A New Hope, where four blue tiles on a black officer uniform indicated the rank of lieutenant, as with these officers. An officer who appeared in Andor Episode 6, and displayed almost an entirely different rank plaque, was the character known as Colonel Pettigar. His single row rank plaque has five yellow and one red tile, making him an engineering officer and appears on Crossman's chart. In Rogue One, Galen Erso went part of the Empire's Tarkin initiative, Initially, he held the rank of Major, with the rank plaque consisting of four yellow and one red tile, before later rising to the same rank as Pettigar as a colonel. Yellow tiles have also been seen on the rank plaques of various officers including Captain Kirji, General Bast, General Ramodi, General Cass, and the sector moths like Governor Price and the ISB agent Callus. Three yellow tiles were part of the ranks associated with the Grand Moff, a Grand Admiral, a Grand General, or even after the fall of the Empire, the title of Warlord. But how did these colours of rank plaques signify their level of authority or responsibility? Although not an exact science from material published out there, starting with the red tiles associated to the plaque, these indicated an officer's overall level of authority over military operational forces such as the Imperial Army and its associated units. Blue tiles indicated an officer's overall authority over military naval forces, including Imperial Starship crew and associated units. And yellow tiles indicated an officer's overall authority over engineering design, construction of infrastructure, starships and technology for Imperial development projects. However, the number of these tiles individually did not exactly indicate their authority, but more the combination of tiles associated with their rank or title. Although Orson Krennic's rank plaque of six red over six blue tiles seen on Crossman's chart, the plaque surprisingly did not contain any yellow tiles considering his position in the Military Department of Advanced Weapons Research. 
The system of single row rank plaques existed for the majority of officer ranks until the Empire's defeat at the Battle of Yavin, where double row rank plaques were introduced to the Navy, Army and Army Operations officer plaques. For more Imperial Focus videos, please show your support by giving a like and subscribing. Thank you for watching and as always, long live the Empire.